So a few years ago, I was approached with the idea that here at the National Maritime Museum in Falmouth, we might actually put together a modern exhibition on everything about sea monsters. An exhibition of this magnitude requires absolutely years and years of preparation. Standing here today and seeing the thing in you know, its complete state is mind-blowing because you are talking about like four years of, sort of background preparation and, and, and hours and hours and hours of work. There are so many pieces in this exhibition that I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of the entire section that we have on medieval sea monsters on maps. We've got this giant projection of the Carter Mariner, this famous 16th century map that depicts loads of sea monsters. Uh, I really like the section we have on cryptozoology, on how um, a bunch of scientists actually tried to argue that sea monsters were real animals actually awaiting scientific discovery. In that section, we've actually got a preserved coelacanth, this famous fish that was supposed to have been extinct for millions of years until it was found alive. It's a, it's a real coup to have an actual coelacanth on display. Of course, today our understanding of the human relationship with the rest of the world is you know, of critical importance. Everyone interested in science wants to know more about how humans are affecting the world, what the future's going to mean in terms of climate change and so on, and emphasising to people this long history of human exploration, human impact on the natural world, what we have recently learned, what we still have to learn, that is part of this exhibition as well, and it feels to me like uh, this exhibit is very much part of that unfolding story.